Okay, we're heading into the house. It's Saturday, 8 p.m. Investigation, Rocky, Sean and Josh. What effect is it gonna have on you? My fear is that you're gonna get spiritually compromised and physically hurt. The first time you went there, you got scared and that's normal. I wouldn't do it. I, I would not do it. Something real is going on and your body knows it. As a demonologist and a friend of yours and the level of care that I have for all three of you, me personally, you asked me, I will tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. But you're putting yourselves in harm's way, physically and spiritually, by doing this. It's not worth sacrificing yourself. Josh. How you feeling? I'm scared. Hey, Don. Now, I know that doesn't explain the activity, and I know that doesn't explain how your equipment went nuts. I know that doesn't explain it. My name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We're back inside the house. If there's anyone or anything inside here with us, can you give us a sign of your presence? Footsteps. She's talking in footsteps. You picking it up? Yeah. Come forward so we can see you or hear you. We heard you. Is that a growl? Right, there was someone talking. It's like a growl than a voice. I got a real like strong whiff. Are you affecting Don? Here's some say like help. Female. I don't believe you're a female. Why don't you tell us who you really are? You have some investigations you go into, you're pumped, you're ready to rock and roll, and then you come in here and it's just like, shut the up. You get <laughs> simple angry. Simple as that. It's like the thing, or whatever's here, it feels like it wants you to be angry. I mean, it's that or it's just pissed off because you guys are back. What do you mean? I keep hearing banging. That's like real faint, though. I heard back there with Sean. That's what I heard before I started talking. It's like I could hear tapping right keep, behind me. I keep seeing like a shadow. Like a mist? No, it's a black shadow. Black. Like go across. But it's like if I'm filming you, I see it out of the corner of my eye, just move straight across the wall. If this is something demonic, they're going to mess with you. Basement. Go. Did you hear that? They might catch up. No, dude. Man, it feels, feels like my legs, it feels like my legs are getting weak. Where's it coming from? 
Yeah, yeah. I heard it was. It's a female. Yeah, it's a female. Let's see. Yeah, it's a female. Uh -huh. Look at that back window, Sean. That's a female. Oh. Hey, we're head to the basement. What's up? Head to the basement. Yeah. Is there somebody here that doesn't want us back? <gasps> what the hell was that? I dropped the guy's phone. Jesus. If you're upstairs, can you come down here? To get down here, you have to pass through Josh. Can you do that? Are you tapping on something? Tell me what your name is. You hear something say hey? There's a guy. Hey there. Yeah, there's some guy that said hey. Was you trying to get down to hurt Rocky and Josh? Turn on the device, it'll help you talk to me. You got something to say, say it. If you don't want us here, say it. Do you want us to help Don leave this house so you can't control her no more? Did you make my baby monitor stop working? What was that? You got something to say you need to come say it to my face. Did you think it was funny to scare Rocky and Josh last time? You want us to bring a priest into this house? What the hell was that? Maybe you're not as strong as you think you are. Uneasy, heavy, it's hard to breathe. You feel oppression, I think. That's what I'm saying. It's like depression, anxiety. I mean, it feels like you're being watched. Like every time you turn around, it feels like you're being watched. How are you feeling, Rocky? Time is a chance. Uneasy. I, mean, I totally understand where you guys are coming from from what you said the last time you was here and right now we're alone she's gone and you still have the uneasy feeling you know it's you know the tightness of your chest that's the big thing is the tightness i mean it honestly feels like it's hard to breathe i feel like something just sucked on my chest like you're underwater i think something's here we just have to figure out what it's going to take to trigger that something to make itself known. Well, I think it's trying to let us know it's here. 
it seems like there's more in the wall. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's not wanting to do anything just yet. It will. I've got a device here that if you talk, try to project your energy through language, we can hear you. I don't care who you are or what you are. Right now is the time to show yourself and communicate with us. Show the entire world that you're real. Are you affecting Don? Yes. I freaking told you. You don't scare us. Tell me your name right now. You do have a name. Were you a serial killer? Were you a pedophile? Are you a human spirit? What do you want to do to us? Are you sexually abusing Don? Yes or no? Are you a demon? Why do you keep saying Don's name? You're going to leave and you're going to go back to hell where you came from. I keep saying her name over and over again. Tell us to say one of our names right now. Say one of our names. You can say Don. Say one of our names. If you say my name, I'll believe you. So that's how I know you're not real and you're fake. Keep saying Don over and over again. You think you can affect Don because she's weak? We have holy water. We're going to use holy water inside this house. No, you're not. Yes, we are. You don't control us. If you're not a demon, what are you? Josh, pause up. Did you hear that, Rocky? Mm hmm. We're going to take Don back, and we're going to take this house back. And there's not a thing you can do about it. What is your name? Was that you? Who's hurting Don? Is that all you can do is affect people that are weak? I dare you to show yourself. Make yourself known right now. I think you're a coward and I think you're a creep. I think you're weak. But a minute ago, Josh, I swear to that, it said, when you said something about Donna, it said, where is she? Yeah. Did you hear that? You don't want to talk to me? That was some crazy responses. Okay, well, first, when you walk in the house, you just get a super heavy feeling, like uh, oppression. Sean said that he was feeling anger, like something heavy's on your chest. You know, I mean, as long as you don't feel the fight or flight threaten kind of deal, how do you feel? With her out of here, 
it's not as bad as when she was here, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. When she was here, I felt like we were in danger. A lot of instances, if people have an attachment, if the attachment leaves with them, I mean, there's some residual energy that's going to be there, but it's not going to be as heavy as if that person is present. You know, it's like it leaves a, like a slug trail. It just, it, it's still there. Oh, you know, I have no doubt that there's something in that house that doesn't want you there, but this girl seems to just kind of exacerbate the situation by... Even I right mean, now, we have knocking. And you can tell it's coming from inside the house. What do you look for? What signs do you look for? If she's going through the beginning stages of, like, oppression, um, she would tend to... Um, not not act like herself, which her mother can could tell you that. I know you said earlier on the phone that she said she's not acting right. She's not acting like herself. If she's got multiple personality disorder, which I mean, it's possible that she does. One of the personalities could be this dark energy. If I'm right, the dark energy would be almost like the dominant personality that's slowly but surely taking over her. Whatever's attached to her, it it follows her, which is kind of scary because, you know, this dark presence could come forward through her at any given moment. You know, we're able to go through the normal process of the investigation, but last time it was just like, we need to get the hell out of here. We need to get the hell out of here. And you just felt like you were in danger. You may experience that uh, again, and if you do, out. There it is again. You know, honestly, when people have multiple personality disorder, they honestly and truly cannot remember what happened with the other personality when it comes through. They just don't remember it. I my. From my end, my personal end is your safety. It's your safety. I, I can't help you. Know, I don't know her, but I don't you guys, and I don't want you to. Uh, Something's talking right her. now. Huh? Something's talking right now. That's bizarre. Oh. Well, if there's multiple spirits there, they're they're being driven by one. If it's if it's a completely negative energy, that negative energy is what's going to drive the other energies that you hear. So, eventually, going to drive these other entities to just shut up. And uh, man, I just don't want to see you guys get hurt. I, honestly. If, if you start to feel nauseous, dizzy, you know, you get that funhouse effect, get out. Been there, done that already. Okay, well. Should we bring her back in the house? Where is she? I don't know. She left with her she mom. She left with her mom. Okay. See, Rocky keeps seeing, like, black shadows, too. That's great. Yeah, shadow people. Shadow people aren't always bad, but these ones seem to be almost like in a watch type mode, like they're watching you because they know they they, they know because you can't stop your thought process. You know you're there to bless that house. And that's the feeling you get. Every room you walk into, every corner you turn, you feel like you're being watched. Not by one person. You feel like a like if you went in a crowded room and walked right in the middle of that room and you had 50 people surround you just staring at you with all that energy, that's what you feel like in this house. Yeah, well, you know what? That If that if that energy turns bad, it's, it's I mean, it's that quick. It's, but like I, you know, like we talked about, if, if you don't feel like you should be there, then it, it's time to get out. Did you guys set up a whole bunch of equipment? No. 
Good. I was gonna I was gonna say that before we hung up when you guys were at Walgreens. Don't set up uh, don't set up a million pieces of equipment because that sun is gonna go down. I told I set up the baby monitor and the baby monitor won't even work now. She's up baby one over. That's two sets of batteries I've just tried in there. One of the uh, warning signs when you deal with cases that may be truly negative, borderline demonic, is you start to get this little funhouse effect going, and then you're and it's trying to confuse you because it wants it no longer wants you to leave. It wants you to stay. And so in order for to get you to do that, it has to overcome your feeling of fight or flight. And the best way to do that is to inject you with enough energy. Um, this negative energy will pick you apart. So that's why I tell you the warning signs, because if you guys start to feel any of this, you need to get out of there with a quickness. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Is he okay? I mean, it's just one of them. I don't know. It's just weird. I, I got well, to admit, also... this is probably the worst house. I mean, the worst feeling were multiple feelings where it's real bad. And I, there hasn't been too many houses where I've had to leave. You know, and this one is... That feeling like you're about ready to pass out? Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. Well, you know, your body's only going to sustain um, that kind of energy invasion for so long, and it'll give you the multiple warning signs, you know, the headache, the, the fun house effect, the, the dizziness, um, it, it, and then you kind of become slightly confused, and your body's trying to tell you to get away from this thing, and if you don't, it's just going to get worse. It's like a battle. It really is. It's a battle. If you're dealing with something not necessarily demonic, but something very dark and very negative. If you don't know what you're doing when, when you try to like summon dark things, it, it makes it worse if you don't know what you're doing. It really does. If there's any spirits in that room, my name's Kat and I'm a demonologist. And um, I'm also an energy sensitive and I can feel you there whether you want to Tell me about it or not. Are you attached to the gal that lives there, or are you a separate entity attached to the land? What is it? So just pressed on my private. I'm not lying, right here. I was standing here and it went. It was, just went like that. What the? Uh, if there's a spirit in that room or or an energy of any type, can you uh, can you knock on something for me? <gasps> you know, I'm going to tell you. you okay, get uh, to the stairs. We heard are, we heard knocking on the stairs. Sean. Did you hear something running up the stairs? No, it sounded like it ran on the basement floor. Man, you know what? I really, I don't want to provoke this thing because I, I care about you guys and I'm not really standing there. Josh. You have energy that's like belt building upstairs. Can you see that paper? Yes. Uh, this was, I think she was doing whenever Josh was... 
do an interview that's last a, night. That's a disturbing drawing. Someone take Dawn with her. Everything's about someone taking Dawn. It's almost like the writings of a serial killer. You know how people keep uh, journals or manifestos or whatever you want to call it? Mm hmm. There's a lot more energy. Uh, oh, that's disturbing. What in the hell? Did she do all that? Yeah. There's writing everywhere on the walls, the floors. Is is any of it have anything to do with like prayer or Josh? You know? Smell. You smell that? Clem. You might get a slight smell of like sulfur. Mm-hmm. We did already. Did you? Mm-hmm. And it's weird that you're kind of pointing out everything that we've already experienced. I think that the energy upstairs in that first bedroom that you were in is actually starting to back build. If you're upstairs, can you give us a sign of your presence? I'm curious to see how the energy changes if we bring Dawn back in here. Is that her name? Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Someone just touched my and pressed on my this time. Yeah. I think um, there aren't any children spirits in that house. This is just getting weird. Let's go back upstairs. I feel like the energy is definitely I'm darker upstairs. Ask, um, do you believe in God? If you believe in God, can you knock on something for me? Afraid of me? Do you not want Sean, Josh, and Rocky in the house? Can you recite the Lord's Prayer with me? You want me to start? Knock on something if you want me to recite the Lord's Prayer. Here we go. It goes. We're hearing a male voice inside the house. Knock Do you know what he's saying? No, I can't make it. It's out. so faint. Whoa, something just moved. I don't know where in the hell it was in this room or that room. It sounded like a, like a bag or something being drugged. Check that room, see if it looks like. Was that like a dragging sound? Yeah. Is there somebody in here? Move something again for me. There's somebody right there. Do what? Somebody talking. Do it again. Move something. Let us know you're there. Does Dawn ride on the floor? Yes. That's almost what I heard. Like that. Yeah, because that's really not normal. Under these rugs or whatever here. Are there any pentagrams on the floor? Not that I'm aware of. 
What does that mean? Do you know? Oh my god, what the hell is that? But it's on the other one. Well, it's almost down. Definitely when she's here, it's worse. See, and this really right here, the only writing on this one is right there on the mirror. It almost like she looks like she's trying to do some kind of protection spell. Yeah, then you go through the rest of the house. I mean, even. Like here, I'd like to lift up the carpet. I don't know if you can see there. Underneath yeah. the carpet, there's something. John, let's step outside real quick. I just need to step outside. Here. I just need to get out of this house for a minute. Uh, yeah, I, I would think so. Oh. Oh, Alright, let's just get out of here. We've been in enough haunted places where you kind of get that feeling. And this house is like on a whole new level. There's a lot of confusing energy in that house. And that could be contributing to why you feel the way you do. I feel like you're underwater. I'll say Josh go back in by himself with Cat. Okay. Out here? No, in there. Huh? I'm going to go in alone real quick and see. The dangers that you face with somebody like that, Josh, getting seriously physically injured. Do you honestly think that this thing is going to sit there and play with you? No. This thing wants to hurt you. Once it injects you with enough energy and you can't move and you hit the floor, you're done. That's it. That's it. Spirits, it's just me and you in here. Or whatever you are. Heaviness. Hard to breathe. Talk to me. Mm hmm You got a cold spot? Just hard to breathe. That is not good news. We're bringing Don back inside this house. Yes, it's 80.5 in here. Wow. You okay? Yeah, you just catch yourself daydreaming in this house. What are you daydreaming about? I don't know. Is Josh safe in the house? I think you should probably go back outside, Josh. Now what? I don't know, you just get a real heavy, sad feeling. You get a really heavy, sad feeling like somebody died? me 
Josh. Who's Josh talking to? Say cat. Yeah. You film it, ain't you? Yeah. It's just so hot. I am sweating. Okay, go outside. There's nothing to think about in that house. Josh? You need to get out of the house, Josh. At this time, all I can remember feeling is a very deep sadness. A sadness not for a time, place, or event. Just a very, very deep sadness. Josh, what color is the car that you guys came in? Black. What kind of car is it? A van. Is Josh safe in that house? I just can't stop shaking. Okay, you need to get out of the house, Josh. Tell me again who Josh is talking to. Who's on the phone? That's weird. In the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Christ, I command you to let go of Josh and let him go outside. That was probably the weirdest sensation. I don't know, you just, like you're just standing there and she's, or her and I are having a conversation and all of a sudden you just, you know how you like daydream and you like tune people out? Mm -hmm. That's what it was like. Like I just tuned her out and I was just staring straight ahead. And then you automatically get like this real sad, like oppression. She may be crazy and have different personalities, but there's something wrong with that house. Oh, I agree. Maybe this house made her f***ing go crazy. Well, if I was in there long I enough, I'd f***ing be going crazy. Well, that's how most people... Hi. Hey, Don, do you want to come back? Yes, but we're on our way right now. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye. Stop recording for one second. Well, see, earlier, uh, that's what Josh was talking to you, and it seemed like he was getting real emotional. I mean, you know Josh, he don't do that a lot. I've never seen Josh cry, and I don't ever want to see him cry again. Yeah, now. You know what, Sean, as long as you keep talking to me, I'm good. If you start drifting off like Josh did, I get scared. Yeah, it just, it's like everywhere you look, it feels like somebody's watching you. It feels like people's, like, just standing right behind me, watching me. And I mean, it is emotional, because who likes the feeling of being watched 24-7? Oh, shit. Well, you know what? There's uh, there's entities that are called watchers. Well, I just heard something back in that bedroom. Did you? Go. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? I'm telling you, this bedroom is nuts. I do not understand what is up with this bedroom. Well, what's up with that bedroom, if you want me to guess at it, is that's where Dawn spends most of her time, and that's 
where she either feels she either feels pleasure or pain. She either feels happy or sad. And all of those energies combined are in the walls of that room. Do you hear that? Yeah. I'm telling you, whatever it is, it's this bedroom. I mean, the, the writing in here is off the chain. Personality to come out of this darkness. Because that's when you're going to be in real trouble. I swear out there, oh my god, I swear it's like, it's like I want you to follow it, you know? Because right out there, I swear I just seen like a shadow peeking around that corner. Come in here, now! Are you feeling paranoid? Oh yeah, big time. Oh, I'm scared shitless right now. If you're scared, get out of there. You can't do anything never, to me. I have never seen you guys like this ever and it's starting to scare me it's like what you just, that? I, I have no idea it's like you just want to freaking hit the door or freaking just hit somebody beat the shit out of them or I mean it's first came in here I really I just want to tell Josh just to f off it's like the spirit was telling me to say it you know what I mean and yes, it, I do. Then I turn. Then we turn the ghost box on, and it tells Josh. Like I, I wouldn't say it like he wanted to. So he's gonna say it now. In the years and years and years, I have known the three of you. I have never seen you act like this. What and happens if you go outside? I feel fine. I was just sitting out there doing a spirit box session with Rocky and the van, and I'm fine. All this anger goes away. But it's just when I'm in here, and it, as it gets darker in here, it feels like more people's watching. You know, these people, they're called watchers. These entities are called watchers. And what they're doing is they're waiting for something to happen. It wants to come in this room and sit with me. And it's like it wants to sit here and talk to me and tell me, you know, to what to do when they come back in. I just cannot get this feeling of like a whole, it, I mean, it feels so f***ing dark in here. I mean, so dark. It's like it all weighs on you. Like, every everything, you know. But then I can't get away from the spirit box, too. Like, I want to talk to it. I want it to freaking talk to me. I mean, what does it want? What's it want me to do? It's wanting me to do something. It wants you to do something, Sean. You'll do it. Well, I mean, that's the thing, you know. I mean, I told Josh what I felt like doing, and then it told Josh it because I didn't do it. I told Josh what I wanted to do. I didn't do it like it wanted it wanted me to. You always move your hands like that? No, not usually. Why are you doing it? It feels like a tornado above me. It feels like something real heavy in my face. And so I feel like i got to um, pull it down and move the energy. Scared to death, like I walk in the house and I get so scared to go to the bathroom and I get so scared to like be alive and it just makes me like not me. It's it's just really violent and it's really really mean to me and it's been like just torturing me. Like it sounds like a pedophile. I know when there's something wrong. Like I'm not stupid, you know, and I'm not crazy. So I know when something's not right and I know that something's like definitely trying to take advantage of me. So where do we go from here, Kat? I, am I talking to Don? Um. Do you ever um, wander around the house and for some reason you start daydreaming? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you ever get really sad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you get really angry? Yeah. Do you get a feeling like the walls are closing in on you? Mm-hmm. Do you ever see any uh, dark shadows in your house? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you feel right now? Extremely pissed off. Extremely angry. What do you think you're angry at? Um, the torture, the abuse of it all. Uh, how it's affected me, taking like, years of my life away. Can you say the Lord's Prayer?
Can you look at me and say the Lord's Prayer? You want me to start? Mm Mm-hmm. Would you go with me if I say it? Mm Mm-hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Can you say that? Can you not say it or do you not want to say it? I'm just like, I don't know. Try it. Our Father. Say it. Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our name, our daily bread. Okay, that's enough. Josh? Yeah. Love you, Don. I do. Absolutely. You know what, Don? I got people I know that can come out there and help you. I, I need to know that you feel that you feel safe. Mm-mm. I don't feel safe. It's been no. It's like... I can smell, like, the worst smells ever in my life. I get the white smells, like, um, I'm being peed on all day long. Someone's, like, yearning on me. I'm smelling feces everywhere. I'm, like, burn marks are showing up on my blankets. Like, somebody's sitting on top of me, burning my blanket, like, threatening me all day. I love you, Dawn. Mm Mm-hmm. Can you say it back? I love you, Dawn. Aww. I mean, you need to sit down? I'm okay. I tell you what I think, Dawn. I think you need to step out of that room. Can you do that for me? Yeah, mm-hmm. Like go in the other room? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to show the rest off. I don't want to show the rest off. I don't want to show the rest off. You want to stop? I don't want to show the rest off. Oh, good. Mm hmm. You alright? Yep, yeah. mm hmm. Why are you standing back where you started from? Um. I don't know. I just felt a little bit uncomfortable, you know? So you're the clergy? Uh, paranormal clergy, yeah. I work for Bishop James Long. He's an exorcist. Okay. And um, the the guys, the, the Foreman brothers, they're, they're my family. I've known them forever. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Have you, you've known her forever? Yeah. You've known her a long time? Long, long time. Very long time. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. You all right? Uh-huh. No, she's not. You can walk out of that room. Uh, I don't know. Why do you want me to walk out of the room for? Well, I think maybe you would feel better if you actually walked outside. Oh, yeah? And chill the hell out with that shit, man. I'm like, that's fucking insane, dude. You could definitely find a better f***ing sales technique that way, couldn't you? I mean, I could. No f***ing doubt about it. You're going to do it to the wrong person one day. And that person's going to end up hurting a lot of people. Do you remember when you started to feel this way? Um, I just one day felt like something was touching me all the time. And then I felt like, um, I don't know. I just felt like, uh... I felt like something was touching my neck and then like touching my body and then like 
uh, something was like, it like gets you through your lust, you know what I mean, or your loneliness, or your sadness, or like, whatever's wrong with you in your life, it'll get to you that way, it'll like, be like, you know, but then like, the physical attacks, and then the peeing on people, and like, the pooping on people, like. What is your mom's name? Uh, uh, Santa. Now, what's your mom's name? Santa. Santa? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what the kids call her. Now, what's her real name? Santa, that's what. Oh, it is my mom's name, Santa. Don's mom, what's your real name? <laughs> Can you come in here? Do you not like saying her name, or? I just, uh, I want to be respectful of my mother, and I want, I... See, right now, you see what you're doing? Just shut up, okay? You shouldn't be f***ing telling some random f***ing stranger just f***ing anything, number one. So you need to f***ing chill out with that bullshit, okay? You're my f***ing mom. See, that's not my f***ing mom. You see what I'm saying? Because my mom's f***ing dumb. Okay, but you have to understand, we're just trying to help you. So just, we want to stay calm. And we're trying to understand what triggered this. How long ago was the Ouija board thing? Uh, about three years ago, like... And what was, he, what was he doing with it? And like right then I was normal, you know what I mean? To my understanding, I was pretty normal. But then... Was well, she normal back then? Yeah, she was kind of normal then. You know, I think that maybe uh, we need to get in touch with Bishop. Um, in his expert opinion as an exorcist and as a priest, what, what we're dealing with here. So you're telling me like somebody can talk like me and sound exactly like me in my voice, but be a completely different person? Like now, yes. where did Don and go today? Where did Don and go? Where did Don and go? Where did Don and go today? Where did Don and go today? Where did Don and go? Where did Don and go? Where did Don and go today? I'm gonna have to leave. You all right? Well, if I mean, I just think it's getting to the point now where something's got to be fixed. I know, but and it could be a matter of life and death. Lord Jesus. Please, I want you to bless Dawn. I want you to bless Dawn's home. And I want you to let Dawn realize that she's a very good person and that she deserves all the best. And I ask you and all of her girls to watch over her and bring her peace. In the name of Jesus, I pray this. Amen. 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 Why are you shaking your head now? I just, um... Just all these bad images I'm seeing. I'm so bad. We left you with five days of cleansing stuff and you never touched it. But the holy water, the sage, none of that stuff's been touched since the last time we were here. Mm-hmm. But until you stand up and yeah. take your life back and take the steps, this isn't going to get better. We can pray all day long. I mean, you brought that up quite a bit, killing us. Does it want to kill us? Uh, it wants to kill me by messing with me about you guys and like your demeanor and the cameras and everything. You know, so. You see, like there's a, there's a vibe to everything. There's a feeling to it. And it knows how to control that feeling really well. And, um, I'm trying to like outdo it and not work it and fight it and all these things. But like, you know. Once you get started, you can't stop. So okay. Um, if but if it, I mean if if the energy gets too bad, you know you can always walk out the door. Right. It's following me wherever I go. It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Well, we're gonna do the cleansing. I'll um get hold of you as soon as we get done here. Okay. You we'll, guys, be careful. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye, okay. Cat. Absolutely. Good night, Don. Good night. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you cast out all the negative energy and any demonic forces that may be attached to Don. Tonight, you take your life back. Tonight, I take my life back. Give me a break from these smells and from uh, these... Lord, we ask that you cast out all the demonic forces and negative energy that is attached to Don and keep her safe. We drive them out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Stop, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just stop and shut up and don't say anything more. Don't get involved. 
Don't you do this no more. Don't you don't you get involved. Blood Josh. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits inside this house, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who has authority over this house now. I command you, leave this house. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been opened inside this house. Demon, we command you, leave. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals inside this house. We seal these drains with the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this bed with the blood of Jesus Christ. Demonic spirits, you must leave this room. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave this house and leave Dawn. And it's like, I see it on you. I, like, I'm starting. Oh my God, dude, it's fucking true. <laughs> we seal this stairwell, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this basement with the blood of Jesus Christ. I seal this basement with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out, demon. I cast you out, demon. Stop, demon. Hey, motherfucker, don't even try me. Ah, oh, stop it! Stop, demon. Stop, demon. Stop. Stop doing this to me. Stop scaring me. Stop making me think weird stuff. Gee, I see you, demon. I can see you so freaking clearly now. Oh, you jerk, man. You are dirty, dirty, dirty man. Oh my god, you're evil. I don't want to play in your little freaking routine all day and like ugh, song and dance like my god man like let it go you're freaking being sick you gotta just let it go yeah mm-hmm it's like gone um... get out of here demon get out of here demon leave leave now you can't be here you can't be here you gotta go you gotta go it's done let it go it's done get out of here i don't want you here no more you're scaring me you're freaking me out i don't like it Get out of here. Leave my home. This is my home. You're not welcome here. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay? Let God do his thing. Thank you. God's not doing shit for you. Oh we seal this doorway with the sign of the cross <laughs> and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no place for the evil ones to hide. We cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Over the years, my brothers and I have investigated well over 400 cases. We have never been in a location that had such deep and dark oppression. After wrapping up our investigation of the house, we sent all of our footage to the paranormal clergy to get their professional opinion on what's going on with Don. The clergy believes Don is not being possessed by a demonic force, but rather a deep underlying mental health issues as well as strong psychic abilities. We believe this is the perfect storm which created this tragic story. A young woman with mental health issues being trapped alone inside a house with extremely dark energy. Since filming this episode, Dawn has moved out of the house and back home with her mother. Dawn is currently seeking medical help for her mental health issues and will continue to take the steps to get her life back on track. My brothers and I understand through experience the fight Don has ahead of her and will continue to pray for her so that Don will one day have peace.